telling you how you can compile a data so this is the data which have many entries in the columns in fact this is smaller data only there are many data we will have uh, multiple columns so what you can see is this timestamp is the time when the google form entry has been made this is the number that number which you have mentioned age all those things so one additional thing what i have put is adder when you get the google form uh, entries this adder will not be there just put a heading as adder and put 111 in the entire column till the entire rows till the end because only then you will be able to submit so our target is we will be going to consolidate this data click here and control a that means select everything take the insert option in there there is pivot table take pivot table in a new worksheet this is the entire sheet which you have selected has come here click okay now you can see in the right side there are the column names has appeared here take this age group and put it in this box so the age groups which is there in that entire column has appeared here go scroll down to see your adder take this adder and put in this e value e value means summation adder so now the data has come you can copy paste this data to some other uh, sheet copy and paste it in some other sheet name the sheet as age group go back to your this main sheet you will just name it as main sheet this is the pivot sheet of your main sheet instead of age group if you click in sex see sex comes male female you can copy paste that mlc you can do click it or take it and put it here mlc mlc non mlc comes now after selecting mlc non mlc double click the mlc values so these are the mlc cases which has been entered now if you want to know which are what are the mlc cause of that click in this table so just rename it as mlc cases click here select select everything insert again insert a pivot table for the mlc cases okay and scroll down you can see what mlc causes take that and put it here also put the adder also now you can see the mlc causes of death has appeared here you can copy paste that okay mlc causes go back to your uh, pivot table of main sheet that is sheet 2 i will just rename it as main sheet main pivot instead of mlc put the system wise put the system wise so all the system came so each you can double click the 25 entries for cns cause of death is there double click here all the cns 25 cases will appear select it insert a pivot table in the new pivot table here you pick as cns causes this is your cns cases so cns cns cases in the cns causes pivot table just take it select this put it in this box put the adder here in the summation value so all the cns causes has come so based on this you can make your presentation of the consolidated value so here you see there is cva ischemic stroke brain stem cva so when you make the powerpoint you can combine this two as one so this different values comes based on your entries cv hemorrhagic stroke is uh, the metabolic encephalopathy metabolic encephalopathy seizure disorder actually these two together you can put it as two and the cause of death is metabolic encephalopathy the subdivisions need not be there based on that you can make again go back to your main pivot double click the cvs courses select everything insert insert pivot table what is the cvs course put it here put the adder the cvs courses comes so you see there is cad acute coronary syndrome cad acute coronary syndrome acute pulmonary edema so everything together you can put it as cad bar acs similarly ccf 
DCMP, DCMP with arrhythmia, everything together you can put it as DCMP. LV dysfunction also.